Welcome everyone to this next episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Welcome everyone to the Jim and Java program where we answer your fundraising questions. I'm excited to be here again this week with another broadcast. I hope if you've got questions that you know to reach out to me on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java as we build this community of individuals, nonprofit leaders who are tempting and working hard to take their income and their organization to the next level. Let's jump right into our question for the day. Our question today is from Scott in Houston, Texas. And Scott asks, what are lessons that you have learned by marketing on social media? Well, Scott, thank you so much for that question. I appreciate it. I've been broadcasting on this Development Effectiveness Strategies channel in the Jim and Java program for a little over a year now, and I have just learned so many valuable lessons, and I'd be happy to share those with you. The first lesson I would say is to really get to understand your audience and what platform your audience is most interested in. I, of course, have been broadcasting on YouTube and really enjoy the ease, the benefit, and the help that YouTube gives. I would encourage anyone to utilize YouTube as much as you can as you are looking to try and get your message out. So that could be videos from you, from your leader, from your board members, from individuals who are out in the field. Take advantage of this incredible platform that's been designed to get people's messages out to others. Uh, if, you, if you find that your audience is big on Facebook, go use Facebook and look at the different opportunities out there. Uh, I've created a group that's out there for development effectiveness strategies on Facebook, but you could create a group for your nonprofit organization, for those individuals who are specifically interested in what you're doing. If you find that a lot of your people are out on Instagram, go out on Instagram. It's a growing platform that is really, really Really increasing a lot with subscribers and individuals who are watching on that platform. The beauty is that Facebook and Instagram are owned by the same people and so as a result you can utilize both platforms very easily. You can do a lot without paid advertising. You can get your message out there as I mentioned through groups uh, on Instagram simply posting messages, comments that are 60 seconds or less. You can go out and do more but don't feel like you need to be on every platform out there the other day. Uh, just make sure that you are out on the platforms that your individuals are using most. Certainly TikTok is very, very popular right now. But if your viewers aren't out there, there's no use spending a lot of time putting together TikTok videos that you hope people will watch when people on your network aren't even going and using those platforms. So just focus your time and attention on those platforms that your individuals, your audience are looking at most. Now certainly it's important if you hope to grow to look at newer platforms but just take a look at something as simple as Snapchat how it was popular came in and came out just as as quickly so be careful with the platforms that you get into that you jump into look at some more established platforms but I would always also defer to uh, as my good friend Mike Kim author of you are the brand said recently on our broadcast go to the platform that you feel most comfortable with as well Hopefully that will align with the platform that your audience is using. But if you feel most comfortable on Facebook, then go ahead and use that because you will feel comfortable and will add to that easily. If you do feel comfortable on something like Instagram, which is very popular right now, then go out there. But also don't be afraid to learn some new things. Uh, I mentioned YouTube at the very beginning. There's a YouTube video for everything out there. So if you want to learn how to use Instagram, if you want to learn how to benefit from Instagram, if you do want to go out to TikTok or or other platforms, there is a YouTube video out there on how to utilize it and best use the features of those. So take advantage of those kinds of platforms. But the biggest lesson I learned was consistency. Just continue to, even if all you do is pick one platform and are consistent on a regular basis, and that could include daily. Uh, at, at a minimum, it should include weekly, but really, if you could do something even small on a daily basis, that would really help. 
Uh, you certainly don't want to just post something on a monthly basis and expect people to become regular followers of your uh, of your broadcast. So uh, make sure that whatever you do, you do it consistently. Uh, consistency is the key. If you uh, feel comfortable on one platform, but don't do it consistently, it's not going to help you. So it's important, and I would encourage you to make sure that you understand your platform and that you get out there and use it frequently. So Scott, I hope that helped with your question. Uh, much success as you venture out into social media and out into those platforms. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to ask questions of me, of other issues, other topics, either related to this, uh, if you put down in the comments section, please put the question down there. And uh, you can always go out to uh, answer to ask questions on Twitter at DevFstrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. If you have questions about social media, put those out there as well too, and I will answer every question. So as I always say, wishing you the best as you increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you next week.